Shalom. Welcome back. All right. Trump wins. Hillary steals. And you heard it here. <clears throat> All right. Someone messaged me and said, you've got to do a video just on that table. And, uh, and so here we are. And as a matter of fact, there were more there that uh, was just literally right next to the access term. And I have no idea what it means, but uh, there you see next to the term Trump wins is language created a rose. What that means, I have no idea, but it's really interesting anomalies right next to it in the next column. Uh, running through his name with the Zadi is the balance. Uh, and in, in that same line where the hay is, is Ganab, which is stolen. And of course, Hillary's name running right through the term and connecting with Nasi, which is president. Nasi is also here. So we have Trump wins. Also found, and you see these letters that run right through. Hazafan, uh, not in the context of the verse is the word hidden, but uh, this word has, has various meanings. One of those is north, and the other is hidden. So, uh, runs right through the pay in his name. Uh, we also have got United States right here, connecting with the vet that's in the very same column with elections. <clears throat> we also have elections down here. With Hillary. Uh, some of the verses that we covered were highlighted here, but I have two more that are just noted with the uh, white letters here. So let's cover the, the verses again in this table. Now, Rabbi Glazerson has agreed that Trump wins. And if you recall, if you've been following this channel, Several months ago, I told you guys that the codes indicated, long before it happened, that Trump would be the nominee, and indeed it happened. Now here we are with a table that I believe indicates that, that Trump will win, and there's a chance that Hillary is going to try to steal it, or there's something stolen. We will see. We know that's happened before. This first verse is in Ezekiel 29.15. Uh, and it shall be the basis of kingdom, neither shall exalt itself any more above the nations, for I will diminish them, and they shall rule, no more rule over the nations. Uh, then this next verse running right through here. These are just really interesting, I thought. So I highlighted them. 36.27 is the next verse. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And you shall dwell in the land I gave you to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I shall be your Elohim. Right here. And it's running right through the bottom of it is Hosea 7, which is, of course, about Ephraim and the cake unturned. If you've been following the channel, you'll know uh, from the study we did on the 12 tribes or the tribes uh, that it is believed that Ephraim and Manasseh is part of the United States, uh, Canada, um, Britain. So it plays a part in this. We're talking about America here, which I probably need to search and see if that term is there. Uh, I did find the United States, but I don't remember looking for America. Um, 7-4 is where we're highlighted. And they are all adulterers. As a, a, a oven heated by the baker, who seetheth from raising after he hath kneaded the dough until it be leavened. So after he's kneaded the dough and it's leaven, he didn't come back. And in the day our king and princes have made him sick with the bottles of wine, he stretched out his hand with scorners, for they have made ready their heart like an oven. Whilst they lie in wait, their baker sleepeth all the night, and in the morning 
it burneth as a flaming fire. So he got drunk and burned it up. Negligence. This next verse comes from Joel. Uh, it's the end of the second chapter. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Adonai your Elohim. He had dealt treacherous, uh, excuse me, he had dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that is Ephraim, and that I am Adonai your Elohim and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Now it could be that after this election, whatever happens, this is when it happens. This is when Joel, the generation of Joel, when the Spirit is poured out upon all flesh, could happen. Very next one, Amos. And it's uh, 310. Of course, we didn't cover this in the, in the last video, so. Uh, For they know not to do right, saith uh, the Adonai, who store up violence and robbery in their pla uh, palaces. Therefore, saith the Adonai Elohim, an adversary there shall be at, at, even around about the land. And indeed there is. There's ISIS around here. If you didn't know. And he shall bring down thy strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. And then we had Jonah. And this is, of course, Jonah, the first chapter, where Jonah's uh, rebelling, and he's in the boat, and he don't want to go to Nineveh. Of course, he had, Yehul had purpose for him to go to Nineveh, so they could repent. There was bad things coming upon him, and this prophet didn't want to go and warn him. So, uh, he will cause a sea to come up, a, a, a storm to come up in the sea, and they were going to cast him out. And this is where we are. Verse 8 and 9. And they said unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thine occupation, and whence comest thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am Hebrew, and I fear the Adonai, the Elohim of, of Shamayim. He hath made the sea and the dry land. So, Jonah is um, you know, making a proclamation here. He's telling them who he is. He is the man who was called upon to, to bring them the warning. And uh, I can relate to him in some, in some respects because there's been times where I've balked and didn't want to do what I was called to do. And here we are. So, that is the uh, Trump wins table. Uh, it's, it's my opinion that he, he will indeed clinch it unless Hillary somehow steals that from him. And, and like I said, we've seen that before. Folks, if you appreciate these videos, um, if you get something out of them, I would encourage you to pray. Uh, we need your support in this ministry. Uh, we've started a school, which essentially uh, will enable us to do this and teach people at the same time while feeding our family. But we have come under some um, financial strain here in the past couple of weeks where we've got to come up with some money. And we need your help. So I would ask that you pray about that. And uh, follow what the Father leads you to do. So, Shalom. We thank you. And we'll see you in the next video.